Okay, this is what's happening right now. Uh, when I try to send mail to someone, I get this bounce back message and it says it's because my IP address is on one or more DNS blacklists. Um, when I check, you can see that it comes up and at the moment it's still, it's going to have at least one, yeah, two, uh, it's going to have two blacklists. That means that some people's internet service providers, like this client of mine, mrvmarketing.com, they will not accept my message until my web host, my mail server is off this blacklist. Well, sometimes this doesn't happen immediately and it can take a couple of days. Um, that's really frustrating and instead of sending to my uh, contact here using Gmail, there is another way. Um, and what I've done is I'm, I'm currently at my home office, so I am going to go to my account settings of my mail account, and there's my account right there, and I'm going to change that, and I'm going to change my regular outgoing mail server. You notice this is the incoming mail server, this is the outgoing mail server. I changed my outgoing mail server to be my internet service provider. Now that's not the only change you need to make. You do have to uh, go in one more place over here in more settings and on the outgoing server tab, most likely the box is checked that says use the same settings as my incoming server. And that's how things work when you're not on a spam folder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check this, I check this box that says log on using, then I'm using my internet service provider email address. This is an address that I never, ever, ever use. Um, but anybody who has internet service, whether it's through Quest or Comcast or Roadrunner or whomever, you have a mailbox with them. You can use their, almost certainly, you can use that mailbox username and password for the outgoing server on your regular mail account like this. And when I, uh, when I test that, it does work just fine. <clears throat> and it it sends just fine. So this is a workaround uh, that unfortunately is going to be necessary if you need to have this spam issue fixed, this blacklist issue fixed uh, within the next day or two. I realize it's a giant pain in the ass, but what are you going to do?